Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Design Atta. In this video, we will discuss a 10 boss design guideline for the plastic product design. So, uh, we know that the plastic part design is a very complex process. It comes in many factors like uh, uh, functional requirement, process, casting, material selection and assembly and the structural issue, wall thickness, and draft, texture, and rib and the bosses and also hole, depression, etc. So the, there are many number of factors that we need to consider for the product design. So in this video, we will discuss the 10 uh, design guidelines for the boss feature. So uh, if you consider the design guideline for the injection molded part, you can improve the moldability of the design, life of the mold and reduces the manufacturing cost. So we have to go with the guideline for the for designing the product so we have to follow the guideline so that uh, in the manufacturing uh, the error must be error error will be less and the accuracy is more so let's start the video first one is the minimum radius at the base of the boss so uh, the intersection of the base of the boss with the nominal wall is generally stress area and the stress concentration increases if no radius is provided. So, uh, the minimum radius should be provided at the base of the boss to reduce the stress and also it will improve the strength of the boss. So, we need to uh, we need to provide here the minimum radius at the base of the boss to, uh, to avoid, the, avoid the more stress. Uh, so, here it is recommended that at the base of the boss, uh, the uh, the radius must be uh, radius should be 0 0.25 2.5 times of nominal thickness. Next one is the spacing between the boss. So uh, as here in the picture you can see that the when bosses are placed very close to each other, it will create the thick area which are very difficult to cool and it can affect the quality of the product quality and the productivity of the part. So it is recommended that the spacing between the boss, the spacing between the boss should be at least two times of the nominal wall thickness. Next one is the radius at the hole in the boss. So uh, if you are providing the radius on the core pin, that will help in avoiding the sharp corner. This not only help to mold, but also it will reduce the stress concentration. So uh, we need to apply the uh, radius, we need to apply the minimum radius for avoiding the sharp corner and for reducing the stress concentration. So it is here for the, it is recommended that the radius at the base of the hole. So here you can, in the picture you can see the base of the hole, the, the radius should, uh, should be 0 0.25 to 0 0.5 times of the nominal wall thickness minimum draft on the boss OD. So here, uh, so this is guideline for minimum draft for the outer diameter of the boss. As we know that the draft is used for easy removal of the part from the mold cavity and ap appropriate draft on the outer diameter of the boss helping easy ejection of the mold. So we know that the draft is used for ejecting the part from the mold cavity. So here minimum draft should be there for is the removal of the part. So here uh, the recommended value for the minimum draft on the outer surface of the boss is greater than or equal to 0.5 degree. So here uh, it is recommended that with for it is greater than or equal to 0.5 degree draft on the outer sur outer surface of the outer surface of the boss. And for the uh, next one is a minimum drop for the boss ID. So the minimum drop for the internal diameter is uh, it is recommended that uh, the minimum drop on the uh, in internal diameter of the hole should be greater than or equal to 0 0.25. Boss height or OD ratio. So uh, here in the picture you can see that the uh, tall boss with the draft drop will generate a more material and a thick section at the base. So uh, you can see in the picture 
the tall wall uh, the tall uh, height of the boss height of the boss suppose if you apply the draft on the outer surface uh, at the tip it is a minimum but if you see the drafted area and at the end at the base it is showing the thick section so if you consider the uh, tall height of the boss then uh, if you apply the drop after that suppose if you apply the drop then at the end it will be the thick thick section so so far that the it is, it is recommended that the height of the boss the height of the boss should be less than three times of the outer diameter so that guideline we need to follow minimum radius at the tip of the boss the boss feature we use for fastening purpose and it is subjected to loading so a fillet of certain minimum radius only should be provided at the tip of the tip of the boss to reduce the stresses so uh, this is mm, this is a general guideline minimum radius at the tip of the boss. so you can provide the minimum radius so for the uh, for reducing the stresses and for the uh, um, yeah so uh, here you can provide the minimum radius at the tip of the tip of the boss to reduce the stresses chamfer at the top of the boss so chamfer at the top of the boss is for the entry purpose for fastener so uh, we have to apply the chamfer on the top of the boss feature next one is the wall thickness of the boss wall thickness of the boss should be around 60% of the nominal wall thickness to, to minimize the sinking. If the wall thickness of the boss is greater than can create the voids and sink mark in the product. So, uh, um, so we need to keep our wa boss wall thickness around 60% of the nominal wall thickness. Next one is the stand alone boss. So here in the picture you can see that the boss with without rib and the boss with the rib that attaching the side wall. So mm, if your uh, part if your part contain unwanted material, that time the coring plays very important role. So the coring is a technique of removing the unwanted material from the part. So we don't want here unwanted material because of uh, so it will create the thicker section in the boss thicker section in the part sorry so bosses and other thick sections should be core so so here we need to core out the bosses and the other other part of other area of the part so it is good practice to attach the boss to the side wall and if uh, if you follow the coring and the strengthening technique uh, so uh, in that case the material flow is uniform and it will provide the additional load distribution for the part. So, for a better rigidity and the material flow, uh, boss should be connected uh, connected to the nearest side wall. Yeah, nearest side wall. If the side wall is not there, so we need to add the ribs around the boss for a proper strengthening of the uh, strengthening of the boss feature because the boss is going to be going to be uh, going to be under loading condition so here boss is used for the use for fastening purpose so it, it will be under the loading condition so it will be uh, so it must be properly strengthened by the we can add the ribs or we can join with the side wall so friend uh, that's it for, from this video so you can follow this technique as a general techniques uh, in your product design um, product design stage so if you are not yet subscribe the channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon and uh, because uh, whenever we upload you will get the uh, latest video notification when you click on the bell icon so thank you for watching keep supporting keep learning see you in the next video